Hello crafty friends, today I'm back with a new tutorial for Chibitronics. I wanted to create a wedding card in which um, the couple is playing because the couple loves to play like uh, Nintendo and PlayStation and these things. So it came to my mind I could use this fantastic set from Lawn Fawn and I also wanted to create out of this couple a wedding couple so I took out the stamps and used my misty tool to stamp all the images on some copy friendly paper because I wanted to color my images with Copic markers as this card is a lot of coloring I'm now playing some music and we will see us after the coloring but before this I just wanted to mention that I always like to color from the darkest color then the mid color then to the lightest color and I do not do fancy things and I just simple want to give the images some color and want to bring them to life I don't follow any rules or that much rules. Um, I do the shadows like I think they have to be and yes that's all, that's my secret. So I hope you enjoyed my coloring, even if I didn't talk that much, but I guess you could see the things I did. Now it's time to uh, make out of the couple a wedding couple and I fuzzy cut all my images and now I'm gluing the images together and gluing the controllers as well. Um, first you saw me stamping the controller cable but later I decided not to use them because I think we are now in a world where all controllers doesn't need cables so I didn't use for my card cables so now I'm cutting out of my card panel the window it's the window in which I want to put my LEDs because this time I don't want a direct light, I want an indirect light, like uh, the couple is sitting in front of the TV. So from the way you are looking, it wouldn't be a direct light. So this is what I wanted to create. And now I'm creating a simple circuit with a regular switch I would guess um, this little paper strip is our switch when you press it down then it makes a connection between the battery and the LEDs and as always I use my bone folder to press the copper tape really good to the paper and to get nice edges I hope it makes sense 
because if you don't press the copper tape good to the paper then you don't get this um, edges and the copper tape is very wonky and it doesn't work good. Now it's time to glue down the LEDs because they are already stuck to something. It's really easy to adhere them and now it's time to create my card panel. I'm using here just Tress Ink Cracked Pistachio and I'm creating here my bank round. You can see it is really splotchy but it didn't bother me because there are lots of images that will be in front of this part. And I inked the bottom with Antique Linen Distress Ink and now I stamped this image um, with Distress Oxide Ink because I wanted this to look like um, yeah, a floor with some, some, I don't know how to call it, but I hope you understand what I'm doing. Now I adhered here my foam tape. This is three layers of 3M foam tape and I like to use the Tomo Moni Mono Multi Glue on top so I can wiggle a little bit so everything is straight. And to adhere my TV, I'm putting down four layers of foam tape. And now you can see I created indirect light. Now it's time to add my wedding couple. And at this point, I thought this is looking really strange to me because normally the couple or the players sit really in front of the TV and now one in front of the TV and the other one in front of the of the game. So um, if I would do the card again, I would put the TV in the center. And I painted the strings from the balloons because they were still white. And I used G00 because this is really close to the cracked pistachio. And I am adding now some highlights using my white gel pen. And like the coloring, it really didn't follow any rules. So in my mind, this makes sense, so it's okay. Now I'm stamping here some speech bubbles with Versamark ink and I heat embossed it with white embossing powder. One says I love you and the other one it's a heart and I thought this would look really cute to a wedding couple. And now it's a point where I first wanted to put a, like a wedding day sentiment inside of the car but I thought the bottom was looking really naked so I decided to stamp my my sentiment in front of the card and with my hundreds layers of foam tape it really worked well but I I had to fix some some um, parts of the sentiment I used here my black gel pen and it turned out really good and I used here a push here sentiment so the recipient would know where to push so that the light will turn on. So this was all for my tutorial for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Here are some more tutorials using Chibitronic LEDs and um, Lanfon stamps. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye!